Well, joining us now, attorney Jesse Weber and defense attorney Brian Claypool. Guys, good to see you. Hey, uh, Jesse, let me start with you. Um, it's against the law to be a sanctuary city, but uh, President Obama never wanted to enforce the law. Uh, even though the Department of Justice Inspector General said you can lose federal funds if you're a city that doesn't comply with that law, should college campuses also lose federal assistance if they become as sanctuary campuses. Well, look, Greg, the issue is is that we really don't know what this means yet. And if they do this, they are in danger of being in violation of federal law. And the problem with that is that, number one, federal statute requires that you cannot harbor illegal immigrants and states and municipalities must re re comply with uh, immigration requests. And we don't know what they're planning on doing yet. So if we have a situation where campuses refuse to let ICE agents onto campuses without warrants, if we have situations where they instruct their local university police not to comply with federal immigration uh, law with, with, uh, for yeah. federal agents, we have a problem and we don't know what it might turn into or what the, might, the result might be. You know, Brian, it's not just against the law to be a sanctuary city. It's a felony under federal law. And let's put it up on the screen. Here's the statute. Any person who knowing that an alien has come to the U.S. in violation the law conceals harbors or shields from detection such alien in any place including any building shall be in prison not more than five years and brian yep. if a city for example like san francisco uh lets yep. an undocumented person out of jail as they did in the kate steinley case and somebody dies she died because of it uh, you can uh, be prosecuted if you're the sheriff or the mayor or a board of supervisors with life behind bars. What do you think of that? Greg, absolutely. And in January, Donald Trump is going to become the quarterback of our team. He's going to run this country. And that statute that you just put on the screen is the number one tool that he has in his playbook that our current administration has ignored for eight years. That is, if you are a city like San Francisco or New York or more recently Los Angeles, and you want to take the position that you're going to harbor uh, illegal immigrants who either have criminal records or they've re-entered the, the country illegally, and you're not going to enforce this federal law by deporting these individuals, then you should, in my opinion, face criminal consequences. And Greg, in that Kate Steinle case, the, the, the assailant would, had seven felony convictions, deported right. five times. Now you tell me why somebody, including local sheriffs, Sheriffs who let him go should not have been criminally prosecuted. And well, Trump needs to come out of the box Jesse, and make a statement. The, the statute of limitations hasn't run on that federal felony statute. Should the sheriff, who's since lost his job, by the way, should he be criminally prosecuted? Somebody died. Should, does he belong behind bars if convicted? There's a very strong argument that he should be. But, but Greg, the, the most important thing that we have to not forget is that if we go back to the campuses here, what is the road that we want to end? on because the last thing that we want is violence on our campuses if we have right. situations where people are being prosecuted where agents are coming onto the campuses and there is a danger to the students the faculty that is the last thing that we want and we cannot have that so we have to be very careful about what the road that we take right. and the Trump administration moves forward with you know Brian Stanford University I mean there's like a hundred universities that want to be sanctuary campuses or declare themselves mm -hmm. to be others are considering Stanford <laughs> takes it a step further they're not just talking about undocumented students they're talking about literally on campus setting up a refugee camp to harbor and yeah, shield right. uh, undocumented people people here illegally including arguably criminals should the feds if they do that under a president yeah. trump shut down the entire campus for violating federal law well greg what you're seeing right now is a this frenzy that is politically correct for for mayors of cities for, for chancellors of universities across the country to be taking the positions that yeah hey we're going to be a sanctuary campus we're going to be a sanctuary city well it's a lot of fluff and stuff when you're talking about it but once you face consequences federal funding revoked uh chancellors being sued city officials greg for example mayors of cities can be sued by the 
government if they implement what you just talked about. Yeah. Now, when you start facing those consequences, I think you're going to hear a different story down the road, and this is going to go away. And, and, you know, Jesse, the irony and hypocrisy is apparent to all. I mean, you know, these, these universities, the private ones especially, they charge roughly $60,000 a year uh, for their tuition, room, and board. And so, I mean, you're talking about a quarter of a million dollars for an education. And, you know, he, why don't they waive all of that for undocumented students, which they don't, if they're really sincere about this, instead of charging them a quarter million bucks? You know, that might actually be what happens. Again, they're in the starting phases of what this might be. And just to tap into that earlier point, it's very premature to say that we're going to go around prosecuting people and arresting people. That might be the end result, and like I said, that is a concern. Sure. But if we fi stick to the funding, well, we stick to the programs that are backed by federal funds, you know, that might be a situation where we can put a little pressure on the campuses that are in violation of federal law. And it might be a situation, like you said, where we look at in specific programs and talk right. about tuition, and there might be an yeah, easier, peaceful stick. way to do it. Try exactly. The stick exactly. First. I mean, it, it's, it's so interesting how <laughs> idealistic politicians love to stick by their uh, ideals until suddenly you take their wallet away from them and oh a change right. of heart it's funny how that works right okay uh, Jesse and Brian guys good to see you thanks thank you very much mm -hmm. thanks Greg oh